It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. In a career that was all too short, Luis Piccoli is sometimes credited as being the inventor of the Death Valley Driver Finisher and even wore t-shirts stating it, though some say it was created by Japanese female wrestler Atsuko Mita. Born Luis Machiolo Jr. in San Pedro, California on February 10, 1971, Spicoli began training with Big Bill Anderson at the age of 17. He worked under the name Luis Spicoli as a jumper in the WWF and would continue to use this name in squash matches until March 1995. In 1989, he traveled to Mexico with Tim Patterson and his trainer Bill Anderson, where they all worked under a mask. Spicoli then worked in the independent circuit, first for Herb Abrams UWF, then headed for Arizona returned to Mexico, and made several appearances for Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling in Japan, before getting fired by owner Atsuchi Onita for throwing a bottle of urine out the bus window. In 1994, he briefly feuded with Chris Candido in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, then headed back to Mexico, where he wrestled as Madonna's boyfriend. In 1995, he returned to WWF, this time repackaged as Rad Radford, a grunge fan who was purportedly the boyfriend of Courtney Love. He worked in Engle with the Body Donnas, wanting to join despite his comparatively poorly toned body, and was eventually admitted as a Body Donna in training. Following his last WWF match in 1996, he joined ECW that year, returned face, then went back to heel status and feuded with Tommy Dreamer. After signing with WCW in 1997, he became the lackey of his friend, New World Order member Scott Hall, dubbing himself the real innovator in order to mock Tommy Dreamer, known by the nickname the innovator of violence. Spicoli later began commentating during matches. Eric Bischoff reportedly saw Spicoli as the Chris Farley of wrestling. Once Hauled and Spicoli soon feuded with Larry Sabisco, with Spicoli stealing Sabisco's golf clubs, bringing them to the ring, and breaking them over his knee while Hall made sarcastic comments on the mic. This resulted in a match between Spicoli and Sabisco being booked for Super Brawl 8 on February 22, 1998. However, this match was not to be. On February 15th that year, Louis Spicoli died, five days after his 27th birthday. He had overdosed on soma and wine, choking on his own vomit in his sleep. Though he stopped taking drugs after renewed fears for health, news that his mother was terminally ill with cancer led to a relapse. Investigators found an empty vial of testosterone, pain pills, and an anxiety-reducing drug. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office determined the drugs might have contributed to his heart condition. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.